What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to wrap text around images in Adobe InDesign. So as you can see in my InDesign document I have two full columns filled with placeholder text and what we're going to do is import images into our InDesign document and I'll show you guys how to have the text either going around the image or around the box of the image if that makes sense. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our image tool which should be this little box with an X in it right over here and I'm just going to click and drag I'm going to hold the shift key because the image that I'm importing in this document is going to be a square image so I'm just going to click and drag like that so let me grab my arrow tool real quick I'm going to click and drag that into our document grab my image real quick I have a few I have three images <laughs> I have three PNG images of flowers. So let me grab my arrow tool real quick. I'm going to click and drag that into our document. And, and when you import your image, it may look something like this. Obviously, that's not how I want it. So I'm going to click on this image. I'm going to go all the way down to, but we don't want this flower to kind of overlap the text. That way some of it isn't shown. That's why there's a function in InDesign that allows you to wrap the text around the image. So that way nothing's covered and nothing's cut off. So there's actually a window for text wrapping. So in my case, it's right here on the side of my InDesign workspace. But if it isn't on your end, you can go up here to window and then click right here where it says text wrap and it should open right here. So by default to your image, it would say no text wrap, which means there is some pieces of text that are covered up, which you don't want. And InDesign doesn't tell you that when you export this document either. So that's why you gotta kind of look to see if there's text being covered up or not. So down here in this text wrap window, we have an option right here that says wrap around bounding box. That means wrap around the frame that the image is in. So I'm gonna click that. And as you can see, the text is wrapped around the frame of the image, and that's the bounding box, as uh, InDesign will call it. But this could also work if you have custom frames. More on that in my how to create custom frames in Adobe InDesign video, which would pop up right here. But you have the option to wrap the text around the frame of your image, or you can have the text wrapped around the object itself. Because like I said earlier, this is a PNG image and there's no background. So we do have an option to wrap the text around the flower itself. Like as you can see, there's a few bumps on this flower and I want the text to kind of wrap around that. So actually, let me make this bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna center it like so. All right, and then I'm gonna go to this next option that says wrap around object shape. All right, and that doesn't really do anything. So I'm gonna go down to this option where it says contour options, and by default it says same as clipping. So instead I'm gonna click that Dropbox, and I'm gonna go to alpha channel. And it's kind of hard to see, so let me zoom in real quick. You can see that there is some text that goes all the way to the edge of this flower, and then it continues to the next line, and then it continues to the next line, but overall it doesn't overlap the flower at all, and no piece of text is being covered up by the flower. But I don't want it so close to this flower because that just looks weird. So if you look over here in our text wrap window, you can see that there's an option for top offset, bottom offset, left offset, and right offset. But we only really need to mess with just the one box because we switched it to alpha channel and we're not dealing with just the box or the frame of our image anymore. So all we gotta do is change the offset of just one of these options. And after setting it to alpha channel, that's the only option that it's giving us. So if I adjust that by a few pixels like this, you can see that the spacing from this flower is now changing. That way, none of the text in my document is writing up so close to the flower here. You can see that adjusting this option here, it's kind of spacing it out, giving the flower enough breathing room. So let me hit Command-0 to zoom back out. And there we go. So now we can see that the text is being wrapped around the object itself and not just the bounding box or I like to call it the frame of this image which is this square right here. And what's great about this option is you can move this image to wherever you want in your document and the text wrap will not change. 
So I'm gonna move it over here to the side like so. And the text wrap doesn't change. It still wraps around that object. It kind of works like a shield or this is probably weird to say, but it kind of works like bug spray where this text wrap is the bug spray, the flower is the object, and all this text here, those are the bugs. Like, that's a weird way of putting it, but you see my point. So no matter where you move this image here, after we apply the text wrap, it still applies no matter where you move it. So let me go and add some more flowers to our document. So I'm going to go to my rectangle frame tool or use the letter F key to select that tool. I'm going to hold the shift key to click and drag, make a square frame like so. And I have another image too, so let me do the same thing. Alright, and now let me grab those other flower images. All I got to do is click and drag that to that box. And then do the same thing with this last flower. Okay, and if your image appears to be super zoomed in, that's what's gonna happen when you import an image the way I'm doing it in InDesign. That's not a big problem. All you gotta do is right click. Well, actually, let me select both images because I gotta do the same thing to both of these boxes. Okay, so both images are selected. I'm gonna right click, go to fitting, and go to fit content to frame. And now we have one, two, three PNG images of flowers different flowers. So now I'm going to select both images of flowers. I'm going to click on this one, hold the shift key and select the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the text wrap option over here where it says wrap around object shape. And as you can see by default it wraps around the object frame but we don't want it to do that. So let's go back down here to contour options and go to alpha channel. And that's where it kind of detects all of the contours of this PNG image. In this case, it's the flower, so it detects it for us. And since the text is super close to each of these flowers, I can just adjust the offset to whatever I want. I'm gonna have it on the same settings as this flower up here. So just like I was saying, where you can move this anywhere in your document and the text wrap options don't change, the same applies when you change the size of it too. So I'm gonna move all these flowers to the center and I have to resize them as well. So let me resize this big one real quick. So I'm gonna click and drag that to change the size. And here are the options for my text wrap like I did when I applied them. And that didn't change when I changed the size or the position of that image specifically. And I'm going to change the size of this one real quick. I put it to 1p6, but let me change that to 7. And then let me change this to 1p7 as well. And yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you text wrap in Adobe InDesign. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like Pat Kate.